A CCSD bus crashes, leaving the driver injured. Fox 5 was there shortly after and spoke to a witness about what they saw. And Fox 5's Mike Allen joins us live from the scene with the latest. Mike? Yeah, John, Kim, there were 20 kids on board this bus. Luckily, none were injured. That's according to police. Police also tell me the bus driver was taken to the hospital with injuries after suffering an apparent medical episode. Now, I was able to talk with a homeowner whose fence this is. As you can see, it's a total loss, just destroyed by the bus. Very high impact. And he walked me through exactly what happened. Michael McLaughlin Sr. had just walked into his garage with his son from outside, and after hearing a loud crash and stepping back outside to see what happened... We saw a big pile of dirt flying and noticed a bus in my backyard. A school bus that McLaughlin says was about half full of kids. A bunch of guys started pulling on the doors and windows trying to break in the bus, and another group of people, they started getting the kids out of the back of the bus. The driver, McLaughlin says, did not look to be in good shape. We thought maybe she had a heart attack or a stroke, but she was kind of incapacitated, wasn't responding at first. Police say the driver was taken to UMC shortly after the crash. The kids, McLaughlin says, seemed physically unharmed. When we got them off of the bus, they were pretty calm. There was only maybe one or two crying, and, but everybody else was calm and collected. He says their parents showed up not long after the crash, and that's when the scene got emotional. A lot of them started to cry, kind of broke down, I guess it hit them what happened. It took a while for the bus to get towed away thanks to the angle it was sitting up on the raised ground. It actually wasn't until 9 o'clock that it finally got towed off, about six hours after McLaughlin says the crash happened. Reporting live from near Owens and Sloan, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Mike, thanks. Again, police said the driver was the only one hurt. No children were injured.